all right guys how's it going today so this be a little boring update i guess and uh, probably the last video for the year um the new year is coming up i guess pretty quick here and uh there ain't much to videotape so i uh we've had a <clears throat> Pretty much a deep freeze come through for the last, I don't know, couple of weeks. And it's been down to about minus 40, tickling minus 50 Fahrenheit. Um, so it's been pretty cold and it's been, uh, it's been snowing uh, a little bit here and there. I've, I don't know how many times I've snow blowed since that, uh, I guess that one video when I was talking about that snow big snowstorm that we were getting we had uh, a couple of snow uh storms after that uh the very last one that one wasn't really a a snow storm it was they called it well they had it under the blizzard warning but <clears throat> it was more or less uh just a ground blizzard because we had such high winds and everything it was, it was blowing stuff around and uh I just, yeah, I didn't want to be out anymore, and I had to, and I uh, was just basically moving snow. That's all I was doing, so I got that moving a little bit of snow today, uh, just some minor cleanup from the row plows, from <clears throat> making a mess, you know, so um, whatever else. So uh, what else is going on? Uh, the young guy came and he got the bull yesterday and he took my cow as well because obviously you know we're we're done with her so so the way it's it's sounding um the young guy doesn't really know for sure what she's going to go for but he thinks maybe a thousand bucks but i i don't know i mean it, i haven't been keeping up to date to what the the meat's been costing you know per pound so <clears throat> i don't really know but he says it's, it's going to kind of be up to um well it's, it's up to me but he kind of he's helping me out obviously because he wants me to keep doing this but i mean there's only so much that i'm willing to do and i, I you know i don't have all this kind of money to be pulling out of my ass so but he's going to try, he says that he's got two cows right now that he's willing to part with, you know, give me one of them. But he says that he doesn't know for sure if they're even pregnant, he has to have them checked. So he's going to do that whenever. But um, he says that he's got to take those cows, you know, uh, my cow and then I think he's got some bulls and stuff that he wants to get rid of so he's gonna I think he was gonna do that yesterday either that or today I don't know he's gonna truck them down there to the uh, auction sale or whatever and then he was gonna do some snooping around to see what he could find for cows that are with within my price range because I only have if she goes for a thousand bucks that's what I got to work with it's a thousand bucks so <clears throat> But, I don't know. I would rather go through the young guy because, you know, there's more flexibility there, you know. So, since he kind of is willing to work with you a little bit. But, if you go through an auction sale, you know, you're not going to find a healthy cow, you know. And that's maybe pregnant on top of that, you know, for under a thousand bucks. I don't... You would have to get a cow that's fairly old, and what's the sense of getting a cow that's old, you know, that's maybe, I don't know, 10 years old. I mean, they can still produce calves, you know, for so many more years, but that's the thing is that, you know, they only have so many years left in them, you know, they can't, <clears throat> they can't keep, you know, they're, they're, they're not going to be able to do this forever and ever and ever. Eventually, they're, they're going to get wore out, and then that's going to be the end of them, so... I would like to maybe to keep a cow for at least 10 years, you know, and not have to keep freaking selling cows all the time. But 
<clears throat> so right as of right now until I guess whenever we can come up with a plan I have no cows I'm down to zero which we knew was it was coming but uh, I don't know so I just don't think we're gonna find anything under a thousand bucks you know so and then he was talking about something that uh, he could find a cow that if he found a cow that was worth like fifteen hundred dollars, well then see I would have to put in, you know, take that thousand dollar checks that check and then you know give it to them, but then also pull five hundred bucks out of my ass uh, to finish paying it off. But I can't do that because I don't have five hundred dollars sitting in my damn bank account, and that's what I told him. It's like, well, it's whatever the check is. That's going to be my limit. That's all I can do. If there's no cows that are under a thousand bucks, well. Then I don't know. Because I'm not going to keep playing these stinking games. I'm getting too too tired of it. And I've. <clears throat> put too much money into this farm. And I'm not getting hardly anything back out of it. So. I need cows. I need calves every year. I can't you know just have nothing. And I've gone without two cow two, two calves now. You know this, this would be her. Technically, this would be her. Well, once you once the new year comes, then it would be three years. But you know, you, you can't keep doing that. You know, it's, you don't get anywhere, and that's not the point of this. So, you know, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see uh, what the young guy can come up with. So. <clears throat> if, if he's got one that he can give, well, then he'd be all right. But, you know, he says he has to check them to see if they're even pregnant, to see, to see if they're even worthwhile. Because he says that, that the two cows that he has now that he could part with are not going to calf, he thinks, until August. Well, that's okay with me because that's what we kind of want. But... Our calving date is all all out of whack now because the young guy brought the bull so late the other year, and you know now they're calving later and later every year. So, but and now the bull was here; he just left, you know, the other day. So they still should calf in late summer, you know, maybe getting closer to fall, but. That's kind of not what we were going for, but I mean, we got to just, you know, we got to deal with whatever we can deal with. So we just got to put up with it. There ain't nothing we can do. The young guy's already stretched so thin as it is. So <clears throat> I don't know. It's just, I'm still, I'm I, kind of at it right now. I'm still questioning calving in summertime because it seems like ever since we switched over to that and well me mostly i just been having rotten luck but then when they were calving in late winter you know getting close to spring you know for the most part they are calving pretty good so <clears throat> i figured for the first year you know yeah they wouldn't be used to it because that's not what they're you know we changed their calving date so that might throw them you know it just it it would just throw them off. So, but I don't. They still managed to get pregnant, and or a couple did anyway. There was one year that my uncle didn't. I think he only got one or two calves that one year. So, but that was either because of the change of calving date, or it could have been just because maybe they weren't in heat, and the bull's not going to do his job if they're if they're if they're not in heat. So. What are you going to do? But, I don't know. The bull was only here for about a month, and the young guy already took him. So, hopefully, um, you know. Well, I, I don't really care what my uncle's cows do, because I'm the one, the one that doesn't have a cow. So, um, I think that's why he's trying to find one that's already pregnant. So, then I could kind of still be in the game. Because, see, if, if I was to buy a cow that wasn't pregnant but was of age to get pregnant you know see the thing is they would have to wait now she would have to wait all the way until 
next you know winter to get pregnant and that's I don't know. It it would you could do it, but you know there's there's you're not gonna make any money obviously that year, and I haven't made money in in a while, so <clears throat> which kind of sucks because you know that money could be being used towards things that I need to get fucking done. So, but I don't know. That's just things are not going my way, you know, with calving. Cow's not my cow's not having babies, and then couldn't couldn't buy one off my uncle, so that kind of you know threw everything out of whack. But what are you gonna do? He wanted to keep all his, which I don't know why. He's only he seems to only want so damn many. So, but for me, I need a lot of cows to, to even make this worth worthwhile. But I'm trying to grow. Which it, I, apparently it's not working out for me the way I'm doing it, but I'm trying to grow my herd. I guess one cow at a time. You know, it's just I'm not going out there and buying a thousand or five thousand dollars worth of cattle and having ten cows right out of the gate because you know we don't we don't have the room for it and we don't have the hay for it. But I could make room. So, but <clears throat> I can't improve this farm or anything else until I have a certain amount of cattle and these cows are pushing calves out every year. You know, if I had, you know, let's just say I had five cows they, and they all had bulls. Not going to happen, but, you know, if it, it can, but, you know, well, just think about it. You had, you had five bulls and let's say they go for a thousand bucks. Okay, well, that's five, that, that's five grand that you made right there, giving or taking, you know, what they're going with what what it is per pound but just making it you know even so these are just rough numbers but you know that's five grand that i could make in one year and of course now i mean you wouldn't make that money into the following following year but you know that there's money there you know that that you have money coming in so i could take that five grand i could finish the, you know the tahoe get everything completely done with that I could get Big Red in the shop, get Big Red back to 100%, uh, and then start doing other things like getting the house fixed up, you know, and, and other little miscellaneous things. So, you know, so, and then of course in the wintertime, my electricity bill goes way up, you know, so I lose money there. I just thought of my regular money, but, uh, it's been fairly good this year, so my bill is still fairly low, but it, I mean, obviously it is climbing up. But we had a we had a, a late winter, which was fine by me. Um, and then it was so warm for a while, even, even when we had all the snow. It's only been like the last three weeks, maybe, that, that we've been in this deep freeze bullshit. So, but that is to be expected this time of the year. And then who knows what January and February is going to be like. But... <clears throat> You know, we're we're getting past uh, December or whatever the fuck this is. So, you know, it's it's another month close to spring. That's the way I see it. So if we survive one month, if we can survive one month at a time, then I guess we're doing all right. So, but that's the way I see it anyway. Just, I take it one month at a time. But, yeah, I don't know. There is a... I don't know. It's just, I guess it's just kind of the, you know, I don't know how much longer I want to do this because I don't have money just to pull out of my ass. And that's what I'm so sick and tired of everybody saying that. Well, just go, go do this, go do that. Okay, are you paying for it? Because I can't. So just because I have, you know, that was nice stuff, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. So I bought all this stuff when I turned 18 because I got all that money, you know. So, but yeah, but I don't make that kind of money all the time. You know, that's that's very slim when I make that kind of money. So, and that has to do with my, my truck wreck that I got into many years ago. So, you know, that's where all that money's coming from. But I don't get that on a daily basis. So, the money I do get every month is that goes to bills and food and, and you know, just little things. And I just got done buying 
I called up John Deere yesterday and ordered my shear pins and I ordered some John Deere yellow paint for the fucking snowblower because the paint's all scraped as shit now thanks to that freaking auger bending out. <clears throat> so ordered a couple of cans of that. Of course, freaking $15 a can, which I think is ridiculous, but what are you going to do? So, and then I found on, on the John Deere's website that you can either order a two-pack or a four-pack of shear pins for the blower. So I bought two two four packs and supposedly they were only 25 cents per package which i which is mind-blowing that sure pins are this cheap especially from john deere so because usually sure pins would at least be a dollar or two you know but no, they're only 25 cents per package so and it's supposed to be four in each so i don't know that's what the john deere website said but i don't know could be getting jipped out too but Whatever, I can always order more, but, so I put that order in, um, I think they have the paint on the shelf, but for the sheer pins, I don't know, I don't know if they keep that kind of stuff in stock or not, so, if not, they can order it, I don't really care, because I'm not going for a while yet to get it, but I just, you know, if they can get the order in, and it probably only take them a couple of days to get it, but, you know, whatever. <clears throat> they'll put my name on it and they'll hold it. They know when I'm coming. I already told them, well, this is the date that I plan on coming. So, you know, they, they know. I tell them that ahead of time. So, but, yeah. So, I don't know. But, yeah. And the young guy picked up another uh, Ford F-250. This is the Lariat version. I don't know what the hell this other one was, but... It looks like it's a little bit newer than the one the other Ford he's got. I think he got this Ford to replace the Dodge because the Dodge, the transmission blew up again and he didn't want to fix it. So, I don't know. Fords have their problems just like Dodge does and whatever. That's what's so stupid is that Dodgers are known to have good engines you know, they're those Cummins, but their transmissions are shit. And then you go to Ford, well then Ford's got a terrible engine design, but yet they got damn good transmission. So it's like, you need, just need to take a Ford transmission and stick it to a Dodge Cummins engine, and there you go. Then you have both, best of both worlds stuck there. So, <laughs> I don't know, but it just kind of is what it is. So, but he got stuck in the yard at the farm there. I don't know what the hell. There was some deep snow there, but I didn't think it would be a problem, but I guess it was. I don't know if if, if the truck got hung up or if the trailer got hung up, because he keeps bringing that damn big trailer all the time. That son of a bitch don't fit in our yard. I don't know what the hell he's bringing it for, unless this, there's something wrong with the, the smaller one that he's got, unless yeah, it could be buried in snow, but I don't know. So Keith's coming with the damn big trailer. It's like, well... There really is only so much room, you know. There'd be plenty of room if we didn't have those bales there, but that's where we stack bales. We don't stack bales anywhere else. So, and if we had a loader on the 15, well, then see, then I could just stack them real high, but since we used the 400, we can't stack. So, they can't stack them like that. They have to be just, you know, ground level. So, it's kind of, I mean, it is what it is. So, but there was some snow on the driveway and we didn't think it would be an issue, but I think the problem is that he was going too slow because he was trying to figure out what to frickin' do, how to get his big trailer in there, and then he just, once the truck drove over that pack of snow, well then he just, the truck just sank in. Either, either the, the truck sank in or the trailer sank in and then it, it pinned him down, so, but I don't know. But we moved all that snow now because um, when my uncle did it with the 400, I think yesterday, he cleaned up what he could. And then I went over there today with the blower and pushed the rest of it just to get it. Because, see, the thing is with me is I got downforce on my blower. So I can scrape stuff real fine, whereas my uncle, he can't do that because he's only got up. And then down is float. He has no down pressure. So whenever he digs in the snow or 
anything. Um, <clears throat> if he has the bucket curled too far back, which he has a habit of doing because he doesn't really know how to run a loader, um, it'll just skimp up, and it'll just ride up on top of the snow and then you're not doing nothing. So it'll look like he's doing something, but he's not. And that's why, I, that's the one thing I don't really like about that, those type of loaders. Because one that ran off the track was PTO, which I don't know why they couldn't make downforce on that type of setup, but they couldn't do it. So, you only have up. And if you want to lower the loader down, well, that's basically float. That's the only way it's coming down. So, but, I don't know. So, he, you know, he, and plus that bucket is just so damn tiny. He needs to get himself a damn big snow bucket, but there's no sense you know you'd have to either have one custom built or to get damn lucky to try to find one that'll fit that loader that, that you know that was meant for that loader those old loaders are older than the stinking hills so good luck trying to find any damn buckets for it but supposedly the young guy knows a guy that can do stuff like that so because he was talking about that if i ever get a loader for the 15 and it doesn't have a grapple on it he says just to take the the bucket off and then the young guy will take it down to this guy and he can just custom build a set of or build a set of grapples for it or build a grapple for it so what are you gonna do and you know and what's kind of sucking is in just the last few months probably the last three months really I've seen two international loaders going for sale. Um, they're international. I think they're twenty three fifties or twenty. I don't know what the hell it was. They're the small, normal size loader. You got the high lift version, which is what the young guy has. And I think that's a twenty four fifty. That's what I kind of more or less want. But the young guy says you don't really need a loader that high. But I just like them because they look badass. And you can, I mean, yeah, I don't really need the height, but. They just look good on a tractor. So, but they're a little harder to find for whatever reasons. But you can find a lot of the 2350s, you know, what I call the normal size loaders. There was one for sale about an hour from here down in the cities. And that was a good loader. It, it, it had a snow bucket on it. So, obviously, it's been used to move snow. Uh, they only wanted $1,200 for the fucking thing. And the damn thing was, it was, it was in like mint condition. It was perfect. I mean, a little scrape here and there, but it's a fucking loader. They're going to get dings, so... Dings and scratches and rust marks, they're going to get it regardless, so... But that loader wasn't even on the Facebook marketplace for a month. Sold. Well, 1200 fucking dollars, those loaders are going to... They're going to go like that. So, but I found another one that's about two hours south from home. Again, in the cities. Uh, they want $2,200 for it. And... It looks like it hasn't been used in quite a while because it's got weeds and stuff all around it. But I think they took those pictures before all the snow fell. But um, it had a normal white bucket on it. Because I don't know why International did white buckets. See, on, on the other loader that had a snow bucket, I think that was a custom built bucket because it was black. And usually International buckets are white. So. Because I think the young guy has uh, a white bucket on his, too. And his is the high lift, and he's got a grapple on his, too. I don't know if that's a, if that's a factory grapple or if it's an aftermarket. I don't really know. I've never asked him, but it's probably factory. Because that wasn't, that wasn't an option with those loaders. You could order a grapple for them things. But not, I don't know. For some reason, not many people did. But I guess, you know, some people don't need a grapple for the bucket. So, um. I mean, it is what it is, but yeah. So this loader that's going for sale now, they want $2,200 for it. And it's the same thing as what the other one was. It's just a little bit more crappier. It's got more faded paint and more rust on it, but you know what? Fuck it. Sandblast the son of a bitch. Put a fresh layer of paint on. Get some new dick, you know, decals made up. You would, you would, you would never even know. So, but again, I don't have $2,200. I don't have a pickup big enough. I think the Tahoe probably could handle it. Because that thing is rated for like, I don't know, 7,900 pounds. You know, and if you get a, a good sized trailer, uh, you're talking probably another 1,000 pounds for the trailer. 
And then the loader is what, probably 2,000 pounds, if not a little more. So yeah, you'd probably be pretty close to maxing everything out. But I still think the Tahoe could do it. The only problem is, is I don't have a trailer for it. And I don't have the money. So that was another thing I was going to invest in after I get caught up with all my repairs and everything, is I was going to go and get a trailer so I could haul Big Red or the... Because I'm getting a smaller trailer, the one that's just big enough for two machines, like, a, you know, like two four-wheelers or whatever. So, but then anything bigger than that, I probably wouldn't want to pick up, but I'm not going to want to pay for two vehicles. So that's going to be expensive. So, <clears throat> unless the cattle thing... Uh, you know, makes a 180 and I actually start making money off this, you know, then maybe I'll invest in a, a decent pickup. But until then, it's just, it's what I got is what I got and I got to make it do. So the only way, the only way it would work out is if I did get the money, if I had somehow got just $2,200 to get this loader, I would have to probably save up at least another 500 I don't really know, but I'm just going to round it off to 500 uh, just to see if I could steal the young guy and one of his pickups and trailers. Because I know he's got a, a big trailer that, that can handle that, and he's got plenty of pickups that can handle it too. So, But the thing is, is I don't really want to pull him you know, off of what he's doing just to go get me a damn loader. You know, so that's why... Well, it doesn't really matter, because either way, I'd have to steal the young guy in one of his pickups, but, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I was, I was kind of thinking about maybe going with a brand new loader from Quaker, but, you know, they're obviously ten, fifteen thousand $15,000, maybe even more, depending on what you all want to get with them. Somebody says that for the style loader that I want, or that would fit to these trackers, is you can order... A self-leveling kit with them which I'd, I've never seen one with so I don't know but somebody said that you could do that but I doubt it because I've never seen one it's only the bigger loaders that have that feature so I don't know what, I don't know what they're smoking but you might want to double check that <laughs> so but yeah I don't know um it's just you know but then again too I don't I don't know if I really want to put a loader on the 15 you know because I don't want to tear up the frame. And unfortunately, if I do put a loader on it, it is going to get pushed pretty hard because there's just things I need to do to get things done. And you got to beat on them in order to get things done. So that's why I was kind of more or less going towards getting a Bobcat, you know, or a skid steer. Um, but there really are none around here, which is surprising that are for sale. And if they are, they're all practically brand new and they're too much money. I want to use the one. I know I, I know what I want, so I I mean I know what I want. So but price wise they're gonna still be about that ten grand mark, maybe even fifteen, but you know. But I you know, I it's just the way it is. But I don't know. What do you do? <laughs> so I don't know. I guess we'll just wait and see what the hell happens. But until until things start to improve, uh, there's not going to be any upgrading. So I got the got some turkeys heading this way. I guess they're looking for their afternoon feeding. I don't know why, but they are. <laughs> so yeah. And I haven't uh, driven Big Red in a while. It's probably been close to a month. Because of that deep freeze. I know that his tire's flat. Fuck, whatever. It always goes flat. I don't know why. It, it doesn't look very flat. But and the wire's probably in the way. I don't know. Is the wire in the way? Eh, you can see it's bulging pretty good. But I ran them flat. And they never pop off the bead. I think they're actually designed to be ran flat. How long you can do it, I don't know. But given that I don't go 90 miles an hour down the highway like that, I don't think it's ever going to hurt it, but... Whatever. I don't really fucking care. So, it's just the way it's going to be. There ain't much more I can do about it. So, 
until I start seeing some more money coming in, uh, things are going to be on, on hold for a while. So, but uh, we'll wait and see what happens and uh, see what the young guy can find for me out there. And then, because he's got to go to the auction sale anyway and dump those bowls off or in my cow. So, he said he'll look around in there and if he can't find nothing, he'll check his too and I guess we'll figure out what to do from there. But other than that, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, it's kind of just the way it's going to be. Either I find another cow or, or I don't know. But he wants me to hang on to that money. He doesn't want me to spend it. But I mean, I could invest that money somewhere else, you know. So somewhere that's actually going to get me somewhere in life. And that would be getting you know, putting that money in towards the Tahoe or or Big Red, but I probably would go for the Tahoe first before anything else. So, but, I don't know, what are you going to do? So, but yeah, anyways, guys, I guess I'll probably take off. I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update. And, uh, yeah, just to kind of get, let you guys know what the hell's going on, but I won't know for sure what, what I can do until I see a paycheck in my hands, and so, but once I know what she's worth, well, that'll tell me what I can do there. I hope she goes for at least a thousand bucks or more, if anything under that, well, then I'm kind of screwed, so, but. I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm running out of patience with this outfit. You know, it's just been doing it far too long and haven't really gotten anywhere. And that's what's getting to be kind of frustrated. What was there a house fire going on or what the hell? It's like tons of white smoke over there. Holy shit. Well, it should be black if it's a house fire. It looks more like it's white. I don't know. So, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like he, yeah, I think he's burning something down there on the ground. Tree branches, maybe. I don't know. Why not just take him to the tree pile? Save yourself the headache. <laughs> Whatever. People like to burn stuff, I guess. Whatever. I don't really fucking care. You can smell it. It smells like wood. So he might be burning some wood or something. I don't know. Whatever. So. Anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to take off. I just wanted to let you guys know what the hell's going on. And I figured I'd make a video today and let you guys know what's going on. Because it's actually, I think, about 30 degrees out. So we got kind of a little break from this deep freeze. Not going to last, of course, but it'd be a nice little little break. So I managed to get some things done today and whatever else and whatever else. <laughs> so... But yeah, so I guess guys, I'm going to take off. So I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Take her easy.